Uh, thank you, thank you, Drake. What you've done for the ecosystem, <laughs> we appreciate you. No, I'm not even. I'm not even throwing shade. Drake has done more for hip hop than a lot of people um, give him credit for, because he's actively participated in the culture the whole time. Yeah. And that that's, there's credit to be owed for that. You know what I'm saying? He's also used his platform to benefit others outside of himself. He has a tree. He has a family. So the DJ Hedge thanks thank Drake for his uh, contributions in hip hop and holding it down for the culture. Um, I I always not that he needs DJ Hedge approval. But I always thought it was a dumb argument anyway. We all know where that culture stuff started at, where it began at. It's never no backup behind it. A bunch of followers running with something just to sound cool. And as soon as you ask any of them, how is he not a part of the culture? They tell you something that easily gets the bump. Oh, well, he doesn't talk about black issues. That's false. He don't do anything for black people. That's false. DJ has pretty much said what we've been saying. He's held down the culture of hip hop for 15 years. So, uh, Maybe to see him speak, probably can change something, but how much of these people follow, y'all know who, maybe Kendrick Lamar to come out himself, like, man, I was just messing around. He a part of the culture, he do the, he is, he that. And then everybody don't change their mind, but it, it was always a dumb argument to begin with. So I'm with Hedge here, like, uh, what y'all think? Or if I even want to know, um, y'all Messiah ain't spoke out yet, so y'all probably still running, but I always thought it was dumb. If you think it's a good 